Right, so we've just got back from Solihull Moors, the first away game of the season and it ended in a two-all draw. A very, very good game to kick off the season. We were there and I can tell you for certain it was one of the best atmospheres we have seen as Wrexham fans in a while. What were your thoughts on just the atmosphere in yeah, general? Yeah, my, my throat's sore through yeah. singing, my ears are ringing. My hands are sore with clapping. Mm. It was just... It was an amazing it was experience. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. been 18 months yeah. since we last saw um, Rex and play in action. And we're just going to give a sort of a match reaction, go through a couple of yeah. points. So the first one, Solihull Moors did actually take the lead. I don't remember much of the goal, strangely. Do you mem remember much <clears> of it? Yeah, they, they they sort of dominated for the first 10, 15 minutes. Mm. Their, their first shot, Dibble, let Jeez. it through his legs. But luckily, he'd just taken yeah. the first thing off. But it nearly mm. squirmed mm. through. Um, he seemed to have a lot too much time in the edge of the area. Yeah. Sorry for my voices. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, fine. And he just pinged. A, it was a good shot mm. um, into the corner of the net. Yeah, it was. And then after that went in, I, I saw Luke Young on the halfway line just telling them to come on, like, yeah. get your act together. And then we did. Went up and got the penalty. Mullen nearly took the roof off the net. Oof. Whacked it in. Twenty six yeah. minutes, and then a couple of minutes later, David Jones probably hits the goal of his career. Yeah. Left foot just caught it sweetly on the half volley, and it pings right into the top corner. Two one lead, and at that point, I think we knew we weren't going to go out and lose the game. No. Uh, I think before going into Solihull, I think a draw away at them. Because we were saying it's our it's our bogey ground. We never yeah. get points out there. We've only got like scored one goal, open play goal there in the last few years or something. But there was something about this team that just seemed different to that the usual years. It? Yeah, it but, must be the manager, I think Parkinson. Yeah. Then when the second half started, we dominated the second half of the first yeah. half, so to speak. Yeah. The second half started and it was all sort of solid hole game, wasn't yeah. it? it was, it was a weird old, uh, old game. And then we lost Hall Johnson, so oh, he went God, off with yeah. injury. Um, Not good it, news. Hopefully, everything's okay with him. I don't know where he hurt. It looked like up here. Yeah. So, we sort of didn't didn't miss him, but lost the sort of balance mm, a bit. Because French um, went out to right back, and then we brought Lennon yeah. on, who I believe isn't fully fit yet. Um, and I also want to say well done to Max Cloweth, I think yes. it is. Professional debut in a Wrexham shirt yeah. against a tough team like Solihull. Yeah. Always going to get a tough game against them, and I think he did really, yeah. really well. Um, man of the match, I'd have probably gone for Aaron Hayden, debut oh, for Wrexham. Wow. We've said he, he reminds us of Manny Smith. He was a brick at the back. Yeah. Like Anything that came towards him, he won. He didn't lose any aerial battles as well. He was strong. And he's so calm on the ball, isn't yeah. he? He's not one of these defenders who wins the ball, whacks it like He does if he has to, Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah. He, he wins the tackle. Uh, and then he looks to play a, a mm. good pass, and he did. He's um, going to steady that defence. Oh, without a doubt. And I believe as well, alongside Cloweth, I think Cloweth might actually develop better with a player like Hayden next yeah. to him, who's vocal, he's strong, he knows how to read the game well. And it's going to be interesting to see if Cloweth does play any of the games this yeah. season. But as we speak, there have been rumours going around that Callum Guy, uh, central defensive midfielder from Carlisle United, is apparently on his way to Wrexham now. Nothing to do with the Solihull match, but I've done a quick bit of research just then, and he seems like a good player. He got 14 assists last season, so if we did get him, it would be a good coup. But back onto the game, very unfortunate to not get three points. Obviously, that 94th minute, Joe Sabara goal. Um, yeah, it almost seemed like a loss at the final whistle. I think we just. I was talking to a, 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 um, a reaction fan that we both know, and he was saying what I was thinking as well is that we needed that something in midfield. Yeah. It's just because we're playing five across the back. We needed yeah. that. Yeah. Something we need, in midfield. We, don't get me wrong. Jones had a great game. Mm. Jordan Davis had a great game. Everyone. Yeah. There wasn't one player who who we thought of. Oh, he didn't play well. Yeah. But we just needed that something yeah. in midfield, didn't we? Um, of course, we've got Layton to return. <laughs> Yeah, Lainson. So, um, Hopefully, as well, Hall Johnson's isn't too bad. Yeah. Striker options, we're sorted. Midfielder, oh. I think we just need one more. Obviously, Parkinson said he wants to get a few more signings in. But just a touch on the atmosphere and the crowd. Yeah. 2,196. Over half of those are Wrexham fans. I know Solihull, they're not really known as a big club, but the numbers they had today, they were yeah. appalling for this level. Yeah. That's not in a Considering that's one of the... 
biggest games. It's their yeah. first game of the season. Yeah. You're against Wrexham. Yeah. You know we're always going to have a good game. But yeah, it was barely full in their yeah. end. We didn't hear them, them singing until Apart from their well goal. into the, yeah. the, 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 the first goal. And I don't think they sang until they scored... Equalizer. Equalizer. So you're talking 95 minutes before they actually start singing the goal. But uh, the Wrexham fans as well, like you said, I can. Fit, I think <clears throat> most Wrexham fans can agree our voices have gone. Voices have hands gone. Hands are burning red. There was plenty of uh, entertainment, yeah. should we say, in oh, the uh, behind the goal where Streaker. we were stood. Um, well, not Streaker. Pitch Invader. Uh, people, people, getting, people getting kicked out uh, and climbing back over the roof was, to get back in. It was. It, it was, was great. brilliant. It was Absolutely great to see brilliant. fans. All back. in good faith. Not a hint yeah. of trouble. Mm. But, yeah, brilliant to be mm. back. Over 1,000 Wrexham fans as well. So I think that's where we are going to wrap up this video. A good point on the road to Solihull. Hopefully we can bring that into Eastley on Saturday. Eastley always give us a tough game. So make sure to drop a like and let us know your thoughts and if you were there today. And we'll see you guys in the video. Right, you